Hey everybody, here's an update on the parts home theater PC. I have upgraded to Windows 7 Media Center. Yeah, I just want to show you guys some good add-ons to get the most out of Windows 7 Media Center. First thing first, let's have a look at the guide. Here you can see that we have channel logos here. This is from an add-on that's called My Channel Logos. You can download it for free off the internet, but you will probably get nagged with donate please, donate please messages all the time. But anyways, you don't have to donate, but here is what it does. Basically, you install the program, and it goes online and it downloads channel logos for common, you know, channels. And it installs them into Windows Media Center. This feature is available for Windows 7, and I don't, think, I don't think it's compatible with Windows Vista. And of course, you might also see these color codes here. This is also a feature of Windows 7. In the guide, you can set it to put special colors for certain types of shows. For example, movies will be orange. Politics will probably be, you know, green, or maybe news, stuff like that. Another movie is purple maybe it's like you know I don't know it does this to kind of you know point out shows and that sort of stuff Let's go up here and you'll notice that in some cases for local channels this program to add on won't be able to find logos so you'll still have the stock Windows 7 style of this label in the channel I think the logos make a look a whole lot better. And of course in Windows 7, they have the internet TV integrated in to the guide, which is really cool. And if you have a QAM tuner or digital tuner, those channels will be located probably in between the internet TV and your first analog channels, like your local channels. I do have a QAM tuner available, but the PCI Express slot on the motherboard in this machine does not work for some reason. The main board is a pull from a 2006 E machine. That might explain it, but you know, the PCI Express times one slot doesn't operate, but the graphics card slot, you know, the 16, it works fine. Never be able to understand that, but anyways, this is your internet TV, and of course it goes back around to your other analog channels. Right now we have just a standard analog tuner installed. And this is Time Warner Cable. Not digital cable, but this the broadcast, no, the, the basic cable, excuse me. Now let's go back to the main menu. And here's another add-on. It's called MacroTube. This is a must if you have an internet connection to your media center on your TV. This add-on brings YouTube and other video sites to your TV. See here we have Daily Motion, Soapbox, and YouTube. We'll go up here and we have an option to manage video services. So here we can actually add more. There's a lot of stuff you can add in here. A whole lot of stuff in YouTube HD, which don't need that because this is, a, this is not a high def TV. Still a nice TV though. Did a lot of work on this TV years ago. Got it for free. It needed the coolant change in the CRTs. Which I have videos online. I will have them pretty soon if they're not there yet. Let's go to YouTube. And it gives you some features here, such as just like common videos. You have date, rating, views, relevance, and you can select from. Let's go back to date here. Of course, you can select from travel and events, sports, science and technology, basically all the categories that are on YouTube for videos. or you can search and the good thing is 
is that when you do a search, it saves your previous searches. You can do up to, I think, five or ten here. The way you can enter search terms is by either using your remote control if you have one. It's basically like you're texting on a cell phone, more or less. Or if you prefer to do a different method, you can use the on-screen keyboard. Like so, you can just, you know, punch in like this. Anyways, let's go ahead and look here at Q Computer Channel. These are, of course, my videos. Let's find us a video to watch. Let's see if it loaded in my Magic Jack commercial. At least now it's loaded. At least this time it loaded in on my videos. I was having some issues with the wireless connection. There's death of the skin mark printer. That's a funny one. Here we go. The only issue here with this, which this is only minor, is that this plugin doesn't bring in annotations from YouTube, which this Magic Jack commercial had annotations in to cover the Vonage stuff, which, by the way, I took a Vonage commercial and made a Magic Jack commercial just for fun. Let's go ahead and watch it. It loads fairly quick, too. This will depend on your internet connection. This is pretty good. It was just gigantic. It was humongous. Enormous, huge build. That's actually when we switched to that. Yeah. This is great. I don't see any difference with the call quality. Or I can just pick up the phone and call. As many family members as I want. Ugh, why did I not do this earlier? I'm Laura Pruden, and this was my last build. Before I switched to Magic Jack. Introducing Magic Jack, the breakthrough device that lets your monthly phone bills disappear. Just plug the Magic Jack into the USB port on your computer. Plug in any telephone, and you'll be able to make and receive free local and long-distance calls anywhere in the U.S. and Canada for only $19.95 a year when you buy a Magic Jack. Of course, there, that gives you an idea of how this add-in works. You can go online and watch YouTube videos from your couch. Very convenient. Let's go back to the main menu. And I just want to go ahead and show you guys some things that Windows 7 can support. This is a big thing nowadays. It's called cable card technology. There's finally starting to be TV tuners on the market that support cable cards to give you your digital cable experience from your cable company. Time Warner Cable does offer this too. And basically, Windows 7 comes with this little thing called Digital Cable Advisor. And you can run it. Which I'm not going to actually do it right now because I don't have a cable card tuner. But this is it, what it does it, is it will go in and it'll analyze your computer to make sure it's compatible. And I'll show you guys some other things too. Let's do media libraries. The media library stuff is a whole lot better in Windows 7 than it is in Windows Vista. You can do music, pictures, videos, record TV, and movies all separate. For example, let's set up a music library using a, net, a network computer. Now it's going to go on the network and it's going to search for computers on the home group that have shared folders. For example, Q Computer 4 is the Mid Tower Lux Black Max. I'm not sure if it has everything shared. Let's look at Q Computer 1. This is the Mid Tower Lux. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to share my music with the media center. Here we go. 
I'll select next and I'll ask you if you want to finish make changes changes and it shows the folders that are shared and say yes use these locations and we'll finish it's going to update libraries now let's see how how it's working music library which right now in the background as you see it's adding music to the music library this is quite cool and of course I did make a video previously about the difference between Windows Vista Media Center and Windows 7 Media Center I recommend you go and watch that. It's not really in much detail, but I do cover some things. Anyways, there's a general idea of how to get the most out of your Windows 7 Media Center. And let's go ahead and have a look at the parts home theater PC right quick. It hasn't changed all that much, although I am running it wirelessly again. And as you see, I had, to, I had made a redneck antenna using nothing but a wire. Gets four bars. The router's over there. Basically, hasn't changed on it much. And here is our old Windows Vista logo. I gotta get that off and get a Windows 7 logo put on here. This machine has an Athlon 64 3400 plus socket 939 CPU. It has one and a half gigs of DDR memory. You don't really have to have all that much power to run a home theater machine. If you guys have any questions about building a system like this and run on your TV, feel free to ask me.